on this Saturday. It's kind of dismal, but it's at least it's warmer in Houston. It's about 70 degrees, so that is exciting. I'm coming to you today with some unbaggings and some unboxings. I have something from GBFKE. I have happy mail from Mrs. Coffee, and I have a package from my girl, Hannah Lynn. So let's see what I got. Let's start with the happy mail from Mrs. Coffee. Now, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee has opened an Etsy store. Um, just go on Etsy and search out Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. Her store will pop up. She does all kinds of fun, cool vinyl things, uh, cups, bags, um, yeah, pop sockets. I got a pop socket. Um, and the fun part about it is she has put her sayings on these items. So if you like her sayings like, boom, you're welcome, or eh, 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 be alert, all those kinds of things that are unique to her, she has them on the stuff that she sells. So it's really fun. Plus she's got some other funny sayings as well. So I enjoy, I enjoyed looking at her stuff and I will be back to purchase more. Oh, this is, thank you, Mrs. Coffee. That's my in invoice. Check this out, live, love, craft. And for those of you unfamiliar with pop sockets, I needed a new one because my last one broke. So this is going right on my phone. Love it. All right, you know what? Let's get the Melly Machete out. Cut this open because it's not coming up anymore. Woo, this thing is sharp. Okay. So, what a pop socket is, I finally figured out how to sh close this knife, I believe. We'll see. Yep, yay. Okay. There you go. Um, what a pop socket is, is you take this 3M paper off of the back of it and you put it on the back of your phone and then it pops out like that and you can use it, well it'll be like that, your phone would be here and you can use it to hold your phone. And, it, and they're cute, it says live, love, craft, the little, little gingham design, I love it. Thank you Mrs. Coffee, your stuff is so ever so cute, I love it, love it, love it. Okay, that's going on my phone right away after I film this. Next we've got GBFKE. I got a couple of things. Um, first of all, I got that I had to have this diamond painting. It was so stinking cute. Um, and if any of you know Crafting Journey with Rebecca, Rebecca Schilling, she loves these. So that's a big hint about what this canvas is. Oops, it is poured glue. Um, so first let's start off basic toolkit, although this has a four placer, I believe, which is a nice little touch, uh, some wax, uh, regular green boat and baggies. So that's your toolkit. Here are the drills. Um, here are the colors. I may or may not take them out based on time, but, um, some nice colors. It is poured glue, so I can roll it back. Oh my God, this was so stinking cute. I had to have it. And again, GBFKE is not expensive. It's a cost-effective way to get diamond paintings. Um, you do have to do some image searching to make sure you have a legally licensed image, which I always do. Um, this appeared to be a stock image to me. Couldn't find anything uh, about an artist or the like. Now, again, poured glue. You can roll it back and zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. But if it has a white cover with Sunor Group on it, normally that's what it says, do not roll it back and do not roll back Treasure Studios art. It doesn't work and you can damage your canvas. But it, with these, you can again roll back and I judge a little bit. Check it out. Oh my gosh, cute gnome. Uh, don't know how this lettering is going to come out. I may have to do some adjusting, but look at those gnomes. Oh my gosh, you've got a green, green blue and yellow gnome, a, kind of a blue and gray. This one looks very Christmassy with a heart balloon, another kind of Christmassy one as well, and they all say cute gnome. I can see it, but again, I don't know how uh, these letters are going to render, so that is a little concerning, but I've been known to adjust letters to uh, be able to read it. Um, it's very long. They say it's a 30 by 80. I'm thinking it's a 25 by 75, very sticky canvas, and again, uh, if your canvas has some, and it does, um, they always do when they come from these types of companies, uh, they've got some wrinkles in them, so just peel back your plastic to flatten it out a little bit better, and then you can put it under some books, and they do flatten out. So that is so cute. All right, let's see what we have in the way of drills. Sorry, crinkling. These do not they have a canvas key on the bags, uh, but they do not have the DMC codes. Let me see if the canvas does. Yes, okay, so on the canvas, uh, as you can see, if Marlon can pan you in on the legend, 
you've got 26 colors and the DMC codes are on the canvas. The canvas? Yes, we have a, a, a key on both sides, which is very nice because this is very long. So you'll have to use both sides to make sure you're putting the right grills down. Okay, let's see what we got. Again, normally uh, with bags with this striping, you're gonna have some great, uh, great quality. Okay, so here are the colors. I'm just gonna, I don't have to tell you what color they are. This is a light lavender, lots of light lavender. Oh my gosh, how many bags of light lavender do we have here? Two, four, six, seven bags of this light lavender. Grays and pea greens and regular greens and fuchsias. More light lavender color. Looks to be 310. Not a lot of 310 though, that's good. Again, I'm just wanting to show you the color palette. I have several things to unbox, so I'm not wanting to keep you here for 12 hours. All right, so here we go. Pinks, yellows, yellows, sunny yellow is pretty. Very, very dark turquoise, peachy pink, pretty blue. Lots of lavender in this thing, different shades, I guess. So there are your colors. Some maroon and some light, light gray. So that's your color palette for this one, folks. Flip it over again so you can see the cute gnomes. So yes, I'm hanging with my gnomies today. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I bad was not, joke. I bad. was not expecting that one. <laughs> bad. I have a shirt that says that. It's a Christmas shirt that says, yeah. hanging with my gnomies. It was good. It was funny. It was funny. It was funny. Okay, let's put this aside. Now, I got this one because I needed it. My drills, I do not store with my canvas. My drills have exploded. I have two more of these that I did, and I did it um, last summer, um, but I needed another one because, again, these box, my boxes are already full, so. But it was so cute, I had to have it. Look at this, it's a unicorn with her eyelashes and her, her horn, I'm calling her a her, um, and it says, you are magical. I feel magical when I look at this. And again, it is a partial uh, on these boxes. The area that you drill, obviously, is the area with the codes. This is all uh, non-drilled, but it's got stars. And, oh, this is gonna be so cute. And yes, I have ripped the cover paper. Nice, Kara. Ugh, I'll fix that in a minute. Okay, so how you do this, they're, you know, they come flat, and then you just open them up. And is there, I don't see it. Oh, here it is, okay. So there's a sturdier bottom that you put in the bottom of the, the uh, box to make it uh, stand open, and that's what you can store your drills in. And again, this is an inexpensive way if you store your drills separate from your canvas. So uh, basic toolkit, I strongly dislike these tweezers. They're plastic, they break, uh, I don't like them. This is a very basic toolkit uh, is what you get. Okay, and this is all special drills. And I like it because they're individually bagged. And normally on the special projects, okay, here is your key. So it's 11 uh, different colors and some special shapes, special drills. Can they see it if I put it up there? Yeah. Okay. Um, but these come individual, oh no they don't. Okay, some of them do, some of them don't. So here we've got some beautiful pink slivers. Probably gonna go on that flower right there. Some rhinestones, some green rhinestones. Um, some silver rhinestones and some black rhinestones. That's the silver that you're seeing is the back of the drills. The black is the front. And then you have other rhinestones. Look at this beautiful turquoisey blue and Kelly green. And then not many colors. And what, again, what I do when I do these uh, special shapes, special drills projects is like, okay, this is bag number two. So again, two is two, and I love this, it's so easy. One is one, two is two, and so forth and so on. Now, when you get down to nine, 10, and 11, it's the code A, C, and D. But um, I like that the numbers match, because if it's seven and the code is four, you can switch up your drills, which is not fun. But I do work out of each bag. So here is number six. So I would look for all the symbol sixes on here and do them all, and then I'm done with this bag. I don't kit up, I just cut the bags open because this is such a quick project to do, that's how I do it. I don't ever kit up these. 
beautiful pinks, turquoisey blue. Here's a purple. Oh my gosh, all the magical colors. Again, I've shown you those. And those are all of our colors for this special project, guys. I'm gonna put that, everything in the box, which I love. The box to the side. The final thing that I have to show you, I got a box. I forgot I ordered this. I was so excited to get it. I ordered it from Hannah Lynn. Hannah Lynn does have a website where she does sell some of her beautiful images. And I got, what'd you get here? What'd you get? First off, it's in an envelope. Clapped. Here it is. Look at this. Superstar. It is a notebook. And you knew I had to get it. She looks like a little teacher. Look, she's even got a tape measure as a belt, and she's got that cute little apple with the worm. She's so cute. She's got her books and her globes, and she's a teacher class, or maybe she's a student. I don't know, but I had to have it. And it's just a lines notebook so I can keep track of collabs, keep track of, you know, projects that I want to do. Um, loved this notebook. Had to have it. Awesome. And a lid. And then I got the piece, the resistance. The Hannah Lynn Binder, and it has all the whimsy girls, all the princesses. Um, I've done some of these diamond paintings, actually, <laughs> and they're all over the front and all over the back. And so, again, um, I can use binders at work. I can use binders at home. Um, here's, uh, I, don't, I guess it's the item number? I don't know. Something got cut off. Oh, well. Um, but yes, it's uh, her Hannah Lynn shop. Just Google Hannah Lynn. I will uh, link it below as well. But yes, these are the two things I got from Hannah Lynn's shop. So cute. Oh, look, there's off to the ball. And I recognize some of these. So um, that these two are going to be fun to work with um, for, you know, office stuff, taking notes. Of the All right. That's what I got for you today, folks. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for joining me on this Saturday. And I'm going to leave you as I always do. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Also, if you are new to the channel and liked this unboxing, sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter, I do whip and chats and I go live every Monday at 6 p.m. Central, so come on and join me, everyone is welcome. And if, again, if you're new to the channel and have not hit that subscribe button, consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell to the right of the subscribe button to let you know anytime I upload a video, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, have an awesome Saturday. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.